guys. I'm Heather Gardner for Red Carpet Report here in Beverly Hills at the Paley Center talking to the entire cast of Schitt's Creek. Perfect. Uh, where's that? All right. You got to give me like an experience here from Schitt's Creek. What's it like living in Schitt's Creek? It's a simple life. Oh, is it? It is. I mean, well, Roland is complicated. So it's a simple town with a very complicated mayor, uh -huh. I think is a good way to explain it. Um, they're a funny little couple. They've been together a long time. We've tried to like play out the timeline because it gets complicated with Mutt, our son. Because in real life, Tim is only four years younger than me. So, so we've agreed it was an early pregnancy, but we're not saying at four, but we're trying to sort of time that out. Uh, I think life in Schitt's Creek was pretty uneventful until the roses showed up. Yeah. yeah. They kind of shook things up, huh? They really shake it up. Now, yeah. you play the First Lady of Schitt's Creek. Did you draw inspiration from our current First Lady or even perhaps uh, Miss Clinton? I'll tell you, uh, when I auditioned for the character, I worked with an acting coach and I actually watched a video of Jackie Onassis giving a tour of the White House. You know what? I feel like that's a better representation. Yeah. You know, this sort of... It's very important, and the way she presents her cheese platters, super important. It's all about the looks, right? It's all about the looks. <laughs> okay, out of, out of Schitt's Creek and back to like actual reality here, yeah. what's it like working with these people? It's a dream. It's an absolute dream. I mean, this lady I love. I love Eugene. We, we truly are like a family, you know, and we're all different age groups. I'm kind of in the middle age where I like... I'm 44, and so the young guys are like, we're going dancing. And Catherine and Eugene are like, we're going to bed. I'm like, what should I do? I'm, Whatever you want. That's perfect. I want. Sometimes go with the young and sometimes go to bed. It's an option. It's an option. Uh, it's amazing. They're my, they're growing up with SCTV as a Canadian especially. Uh, it's a huge deal, and I have to constantly shake my head when I'm sitting there, you know, chatting, making tea with Catherine at the craft table. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Any favorite moments from set? Yeah, this season I wish I knew the lead up to the joke. But Catherine was saying something and being hilarious about she's publicly embarrassed to eat bananas in front of people because it just feels so phallic. And then I was <laughs> eating a banana. I don't know, like a like a minute later, I was eating a banana and we just could not stop <laughs> laughing. So it's kind of very juvenile humor sometimes on the set. A very entertaining. It makes it worth it, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, so, congratulations. Thank you. Season three. <laughs> and I already know some stuff that I can't talk oh, about. No, I can't. <laughs> Dan, Dan, Do this to us. Dan does like a men in black thing where he tells you, know you what's going to happen and then he shoots you with a thing and you have no recollection. Said that. Yeah. Yeah, he's very powerful. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you. All right, guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel for even more red carpet interviews. Plus, leave us a comment below and tell us who your favorite character is from Schitt's Creek. And head on over to redcarpetreporttv.com for even more red carpet info.